Hey everybody, how's it going? We're back here once again to play some more games. This time we're playing Voxelgram, uh, a Picross 3D clone that I am enjoying a lot. I've been playing it a lot on my Steam Deck, as uh, I'm always on the search for more Picross, and that is a good one there. Uh, especially Picross 3D is a... Uh, a special game. Unfortunately, Nintendo has only seen fit to let us have two of those. Uh, one on the DS, one on the 3DS. Uh, and I do not know the prospects for a new one because they tend to be touch-focused and the Picross games just aren't great touch games on a Switch, unfortunately. Uh, but a developer here has seen fit to... Uh, well, you know, help us out in that quest. Uh, and this is the Steam version. It's on Steam and Switch right now. May come to other things, I don't know. Steam, Switch, I think mobile. Uh, there, so they have, you know, an editor. Can I not get to the editor? I guess not. Unless I can use my mouse. Okay, import. Okay, well, not really too worried about that. Uh, but this this version especially has some cool stuff in that, as you can see here, uh, they have Steam Workshop support so that people can make their own puzzles. Is it not? Okay. I've downloaded a bunch here, but I can also go here and download more. And as you can probably guess, people made all of the Picross 3D. I, I'm guessing these are the... The ones from the original game, uh, there's Picross 3D 2, I forget what the, the title of that one is, that's the 3DS one, I'm guessing these are all the the DS ones, uh, which is cool, but somebody should go through and do the others, because uh, these all seem to be pretty good. I'm not sure what these times are. Maybe best times in them, I don't know, uh, but we're not going to play those just yet, so we're going to hop in. I've beaten the first handful of stages, and so a lot of the stages here are based around dioramas. So as you can see, like, get to these and you get, you know, these are all based on various vegetables and plants and such you would have in a garden. I kind of go all the way through there, and there's some more here. A bunch, though. Like, I'm guessing these are 25 separate ones, 10 each. Uh, so that has been one I've been kind of working my way through. Uh, before I go to bed, I play Picross, so hop in here and I'll explain how this works. So there are a bunch of numbers and such on here uh, that you can play around with. And as you can see, I have, well, I'm not blocking it. The little cube that's right above my head here, uh, that's showing you that it's 4x4x5, four by four by five. 5 on the top, uh, 5 tall is saying. So if I'm looking at numbers, I'm like, all right, this is, uh, I can use the triggers to go break into this. So, you know, not really so much from the touch stuff that I could probably go here and like do that. So it doesn't have the thing like you would have on a, uh, Picross DS, uh, kind of thing. Uh, where, I'm just going to restart, uh, where, I'll stop here, uh, where you would hold down on the, the circles to, uh, on the zeros to break them down. So the zeros mean there's nothing in that, uh, row or column that is usable. The, the basic numbers are saying here that two, that three of these in a row, and so since it's four wide, I know these two in the middle are going to be guaranteed. This five up top means all of these are guaranteed. Uh, so this is a one, so I can cancel out all the rest here. I can also go through and just go boop, 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 and it'll dim all the numbers. I wouldn't, I don't really want that, but I'll just deal with it. Wait, I was, thought I was holding that one. All right, so you're kind of going through, especially, I guess, uh, a three one, so three means there's three total. I have to uh, highlight one gap. 
in this. So since it's four, I know the two ends are going to be the important ones here. So I can go and do this. All right, so now I can start digging in here. So three goes there. I can blank out these zeros. That's clear. Nothing else I can do here. This is the first time I'm hearing the music, so... So these are already completed, because these fours ensure that the rest are done. And so if there's nothing on top or the side, there's no reason to mess with these squares. But I know it's a zero, so that's the only real exception. Okay, we got another three ones. I know that's going to be the thing. I know that's another one. And this is here, so... Boom, done. Uh, that's all I can do on this side. So now I can start working on this side here. Just like that. There we go. This is done. Alright, gotta go there. This one we're gonna clear out. This two on the end. Three is gonna be here. That three is done. And yeah, sometimes if I go a little too far, it'll go to this way, which you can certainly do this. Uh, I just prefer doing the horizontal, or yeah, horizontal ones. Uh, that one's needed. That one's done. That one's done. And then you start whittling your way through this and being able to pick out the ones that are most important, which is like all these. That one's done. Then go back and pull these out. That's done. That one's done, and it's complete. These are blocks, so I'm guessing that's a, a kid's playroom or something. I can just hit X, uh, though I'm playing on a dual sense, so I'm hitting square to go to the next one. So this is six wide, these are five, so I can go here and highlight those. I can already start completing some of this. It's three, so these can go. Now it's done. Alright, I think we're okay to keep moving. Same thing here, so this must be just about mirrored but that's maybe been the one disappointment so far is there's been a lot of mirrored puzzles and so yeah the big thing here is like is the gap here or here is it a three and a two or is it a four and a one and we don't know so we're not going to bother with it just yet okay so this two here in the corner of the four means there's two gaps and so these ends are definitely going to be here and so there's going to be a two banger in here. Is it on the end? Is it on the end? And there's a one spot here. So like these two are empty. We're not sure. So we're going to work our way through that well, a little bit. But nothing else here on top. So nothing to work with here. So I can highlight those. This is the same as the other side. There we go. That one's pretty good. All right. That's maybe the one annoyance I have is spinning it around and it'll take a couple rows off because I'm assuming it's coming at some angle that it's unsure what to do with. Also, I like that these numbers rotate so that you're better able to see them. So we're good on this side, on this first row. This one, alright, we got that. Oop, that four is good. I'm trying to see... These are all good, so that one's good. All right, these two don't need to be here, so those two have to be there. This four is here, so these are all done. All right, I can take that one out, take this out. Yeah, if I'm going a little fast for you, I apologize, but uh, these are all pretty easy puzzles, so nothing really too complicated here. All right, this five one is done. These two five ones are done. All right, it's that one and this one. And they tell you in the tutorial the gap is never on the ends, so we know the gap is here and not here. But if that was a three two, I would have broken this middle one up and had these two separately. Okay, this is here. I can clear these out. I can take those two out. All right, we're almost done. All right, that's... Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. There we go. Yeah, sometimes it's going to be a little tough to tell which one's which. 
these are all good here. Here we go. So now this one's... See, I thought it was on that side. There we go. So that's a little gift, okay. So if I want to see like what the, the diorama is... Oh, Santa's Workshop, okay. Uh, and the achievements on this game are not too complicated uh, for this game. Uh, it's all just beat each section uh, every 10 levels, and then it has some uh, basic uh, milestone ones for like, get 100, and, you know, 50 done, and all this kind of stuff. Wait a second, this isn't... Pretty sure we got to this in the right way. There we go. I almost messed that up. Or no, wait, I did mess it up. We're just gonna restart this whole section here because I misread this. Okay. These are all here. Done with that one. These are gone. And it's gonna be that one. There we go. We almost messed that up. Uh, this five goes down here. This is two up here, so two there. Go three, three, six here. These are done. And this it's a mirrored puzzle, so oop. Oh yeah, this this game ends up being pretty lenient on your mistakes. Uh, the original Picross 3D could be fairly uh, tough on things. All right, that's good. So it gets rid of these ones. We're done there. I never hear this music, so this is wild that this is the music that's playing while the this game is going. That's kind of chill, I guess, but definitely not my thing. This two is done. Okay, good. It's a bear. Teddy bear, look at that thing. It has some neat little puzzle design in here. So we got five by, oh, this is all, this is a pure cube. So these fours are gonna be uh, fun. We just need the ends on these. Again, this, I'm guessing this is some sort of gift box or something. All right, so that three, two means it's three blocks two gaps, and since it's five, it's already pretty easy to figure out. The five here on the bottom goes all the way across. So we have a gap here, gap here. Similar for that three, two. And this two, one is done. And that's it on this one. Four, one. Boom. Trying to see nothing else. Nothing else I can do here. All right, five here, so that'll give us a good head start. There, we got three twos here, so this is mirroring again. That one's done. These two are done. All right, good. Three twos, so these are the ones there, and that sets up this, this. There we go. Some puzzle box or gift box or something, I don't know. All right. This four one here, we can... S <sighs> okay, there we go. That's maybe the one annoyance I have is control stuff can be wonky. Especially if you're trying to straddle enough to give yourself as much of these numbers on the sides as possible to see them. Okay, that's good. This two can be cleared out. Four one still not done yet. Let's see. That one's done. These ones are done. Those are done. The two ones done. So we're done with that one. Oh boy. None of these are good. Okay, we can get that one. Yeah, nothing else there. I wonder if this is going to be a dice or something. I'm not sure. I already had a dice, so it shouldn't be that. Okay, this 4-1 is clear. There we go. We're 
good there. That's done, that's done. So I'm wondering what this is. That's the other fun part of Picross games is trying to figure out what the puzzle is as you're doing it. These two might be... Or no, these are already done. I was going to say. That's done. Okay, we're clear there. We're almost done. There's just a couple more things. Like, that's done. That's done. Okay. These two need to go. There we go. Sorting puzzle. Okay, I guess... The problem is I'm not sure what a sorting puzzle is. I've probably seen one and not known it by that name. Uh, let's see here. Two by two. Oh. Because it starts at like the perfect angle between these. And so if you're trying to start... You can't actually do that, so we'll just start running through this. Nothing on the sides here for the first couple. That's a little weird, but this is also seven tall, so these are going to be able to take that. Let's see. As a 3-2, so that's got to be cleared out. This is a 2-1, so that's going to be cleared out. Okay, that there. And so, yeah, as I said, the gaps are not on the ends here, so this doesn't count. And, okay, these sevens. So you can kind of drag the, the marking or the, the deleting. I guess you can technically use this to add a spot, but you can also just hit the A button, the mark button to add it in. So if it's something, typically you're already, you're only doing that for something you accidentally deleted that needs to be added in. All right, so we're good here. And see, it's taking out this first one, which I don't want it to do. Okay, this is all good. That's good. So this has to be this, just based on the way that that came out. All right, there's that. Uh, this one has to be it, because this 3-2 is just three separate ones uh, for that so this is the same thing but it could be any of these we're not sure yet all right two we're gonna be able to clear out some stuff here those are done that's all done that's all done that's all done yeah because this is five wide instead of four like the other side there we go the three ones all there there and that's clear It's going to be a mirror of the last one, seems like. Yep, mirrored again. This is going to be something. I'm not sure what it is at the moment, but it is mirrored, so we're missing out on that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is going to be it. So that's how that's going to go, because you've got one here in this second spot. And it's not going to be three straight. It has to be broken up somewhere, and this is where you're going to get it from. And that's going to be there. That's going to fill in here. That's going to be there. And we're done. That's a doll. Okay. That makes sense. Sometimes it's a little tough, too. So... The other real knock, it's not really a major knock, but it's just more that there's a lot more presentation to uh, the original Picross 3D games. Especially you would get a lot of the puzzles when you finished. Uh, like especially the, the second game, they would animate them uh, at the end. So you kind of get, uh, you know, an animal and it would start, you know, moving around, doing stuff. And that's cool. All right, there we go. But yeah, for uh, other things that are going on 
uh, I was looking at things to stream. And so I ended up starting the One Piece demo, the One Piece Odyssey demo, uh, because I've been in a, a Picross mood, or uh, sorry, a One Piece mood as I finished watching all the One Piece that is on Netflix, which is only, I think, about 325 episodes. I guess about as much as it is. Basically up to the end of the Water 7 arc, in case you know you're One Piece. So uh, I was like, oh, this this game seems like it's going to be up my alley, coming at about a perfect time as I'm uh, about to move into the next part of watching more One Piece. And so I tried out that demo. That demo's quite good. Uh, I liked it a lot uh, from what that is. It's basically the beginning of the game. Uh, there are definitely some knocks I have on it from that. So there's no auto advance on dialogue. So it doesn't continue to move through the, the dialogue. It also has like three different types of dialogue going on throughout the game. There's like combat dialogue that happens going in and out of combat that's automatically advancing. So it's like, why isn't the regular comp? But yeah, the regular dialogue just goes for the, the box that you have and then it stops until you advance it and that's that's pretty annoying I just you got all this voice acting why not let it flow naturally uh, from one to the next but either way I uh, enjoyed it enough I pre-ordered the game so we'll be streaming that tomorrow I'm still trying to th figure out if I want to do it from uh, the start of the game or from where it starts to open up because uh, the first little bit it's all right it, they basically just explain how uh, everybody comes into this island and then loses all their abilities so that you have an actual ramp up as a JRPG uh, because you know they're very powerful at the point that they come in I don't know what season or arc this would pertain to when it comes in. They do show in the pause menu the bounties that the crew has. And they're way higher than where I'm at. Uh, just past the Water 7 arc. So that was kind of like, ooh, okay. Some stuff has gone on, which not really surprising. But uh, so I don't know how far into it. There's, a, there's one more party member that I have not seen. So where I'm at, they get the shipwright Frankie uh, added to their party. He looks different in this, but I believe that's more because a lot of the different arcs, they have different looks to them, so that's kind of a whole thing, so I don't recognize uh, some of the characters in their current looks, which is fine. They can change the looks if they want, that's fine. Uh, it's just like Oh, this this dude Frankie is way more of a robot man. He's also not as in his uh, speedos as much, which may be more of a game thing. Jeez, game, come on. Uh, so then obviously they're gonna sell outfits and such, so you can probably get outfits to make them look like from they do from the other arcs. So. Uh, especially if you pre-order, you get one right there, so. Alright, there's our three. Uh, so that I'm excited for. Uh, that is out tomorrow, so we'll be streaming that. Presumably, it'll be out of normal time. They'll be streaming in the evening, so it won't be too big of a deal. Alright. It does offer the option to skip trivial. I don't ever want to do that. I don't like it. I don't like uh, help stuff in these games. I want to do all the uh, the trivial stuff myself. All right, so now I can go here. This will be what I would do in a Picross. Is like looking around all the zeros. Holding down with the, the stylus to knock them all out. Unfortunately, that's not a thing you can do here. I don't think it's in the touch version on the Steam Deck either, so. Okay, these are all. No. 
I almost made the mistake of like, all right, these are done so I can clear all these out and these might still be solutions for other parts. All right, so three here, three here, three here. Okay, so these are five, so five eighths, okay. There's gonna be two in the middle. These are gonna fill in so I can clear those out. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I might end up watching some more One Piece. So I've exhausted everything that's on Netflix. So that's all the English language stuff I have access to. So I'll have to look at, I assume the rest is on Crunchyroll. Uh, so I'll have to watch there and that'll be in Japanese, which isn't a big deal. Uh, I was watching it in English because uh, I could have it playing, understand what's going on, and also be doing other stuff, doing work or playing games or whatever uh, on the other screen. I like to do that, so. Alright, so these are going to be green. It's going to be a two and a three, so I don't know which side's going to be the two or the three. There's that, so that five can be completed here. Uh, these ones, yeah, this could be a four and a one, so I don't, I can't take any more. If it's a three here, this one, I can fill that one in, at least. Uh, it's three here, so I can take that one out, okay. So yeah, that's kind of the, the gaming stuff I'm doing right now, is looking at that. Also been playing on my Steam Deck, hence why we're streaming this, uh, because that's been the thing I've been playing uh, most nights. I've been enjoying it a lot. So I'm looking forward to putting some more time to this. Because there's a lot in this game. Uh, for the value, you get a pretty good amount of puzzles. It's 250, I think, uh, in the base game. Plus the tutorial stuff, which is tutorials. It's not, it's not really content. It's just more... Tutorials are more accessibility stuff. Make sure there's a means for people to learn something. Because there are definitely games out there that do not like to teach you anything. Like Vampire Survivors. It's still a good game. It's just not very accessible unless you watch somebody else play a thing. To let you know, like, oh, this is what I should do. So I'm hoping that game comes out to more platforms this year. Uh, Switch, PlayStation would be nice. Because that game has a lot of achievements. I haven't, though I haven't looked at the Xbox version to see how many that has as many as the Steam version does. Because the Steam version has like 140, I think. I can look it up real quick. I've got Steam right here. 159 achievements. Which is having that many trophies to unlock would be pretty cool. Also, how about people that make the, the various um, Vampire Survivors clones? Crap. Uh, how about you bring your stuff to the other platforms before uh, Punkle can, Punkle Studios, I forget their, their official name is. See, I made a mistake there. I took out this one when it's not guaranteed that it's done. So that's definitely a thing there. Uh, let's see. Okay, these are done. Which means that's there and that's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. Okay. Basically, in checkoff point, basically, this is going to all flow real fast. Alright, those are done. There's like a rocket ship. Okay, that's done. That's done. And that's done. Yep, okay. Yeah, I've definitely got myself in trouble automatically deleting stuff that I was like, well, the rest of this is done, so that's, we're good here, and then realized like, oh, wait, no, I just deleted a bunch of stuff I actually needed. Uh, let's see, it's seven wide. Wait, where am I at? Okay. Seven wide, so there's that. I played Holocure last night, which is on Itch. Uh, 
which is a vampire survivor based on some property, Hollow, Hollow Live, I think. I've never heard of it. It's, it's anime, in case you're wondering. Uh, but it's very much the same style of thing. Even uses some of the same basic concepts for uh, power-ups in that game. Which is a little disappointing. I would like I like most of them to try to do new things versus oh, we're use, kind of using the same uh, same representation for this uh, thing that brings them all to you. Okay, so five and two, that's going to mean we need the ends here. So it needs to have two gaps. I don't know where they could be. They could be here on the ends and be three in the middle. Could be one here, one here, one here, one here. Any of the varieties that go there, so. Still ways to go there. Four here. Clears out that one. Gets that one. Gets that one clear. All right. I think we're good on this side, so we'll go over to here. All right, four, one. Hmm. Still not 100% sure yet on this, but probably not that one. So it's either going to be three onto here, or the be two, two with this one. But no guarantees yet. This one doesn't have anything yet, so we're not sure. Okay, three, I can clear those out. Okay, the ones down here is done. Uh, is there anything else here? Nothing. Sometimes it's going to be a little tough to read things because you're seeing other numbers in the back. It's like, oh no, that's not. Yeah, this is seven already. One's been cleared out. That one's done. Oop, okay. Work our way around this. This one, I think this one's mirrored as well. They do a lot of mirror. That's maybe the, the one disappointment I have with this. There's a lot of mirrored stuff. Because I don't know if you notice, a lot of items are mirrored. In the way they're designed. Yeah, these ones can get cleared out. Okay, that's it. I'm going to clear out a lot of fluff here, but we still got plenty to work on. As I'm getting to a point where I have to make choices. No, we're still... This game's been pretty good about not putting you in any real tough places, so... That's a 3-2, so it's any of these two here. This music sounds like I have another game running, for whatever reason. It sounds almost like an Assassin's Creed song when they introduce the the concept of the the synchronization kind of thing and you're about to make your first leap into the the uh, pile of hay or something like that. All right, those are clear. Oop, there we go. It could do with making the highlights of the stuff another color. All right, we cleared that out. This one's going to take a little bit just cuz it's it's a bigger puzzle here, so all these fours are done. Alright, these four... four one is not done. This five one is... is done. Because it's a five one, okay. Nothing else here. These are done. The two one, we're still not sure which of these are the twos. Okay, this is the one. There's nothing else here of notes. Yeah, still too many here. Still too many options there. Okay. Slowly whittling our way down. User puzzles are kind of like. Though it's also more of a... Uh, one that just stretches the time out. The way they designed it, but that's not too bad. It's not a bad thing. Oh, well, let's see. Nothing here I can do. There. Yeah. Okay, 5-2. So that's it for that one. 
Could be either of these. Could be a three and a one or a two and a two. I'm not sure yet. There we go. Okay, we're starting to narrow this down. What is this thing? It's like three legs. It's not a horse. I was thinking horse initially, but I don't think it is. Oh man, okay, that's not one, that's not one. So is it gonna be a three and a one or a two and a two? I was thinking race car, but I don't think that's it either. Not 100% sure, but I could be wrong on that. Okay, there's two ones. We've had our choices taken away. There we go. That one's done. Alright, now we're on yeah, the side here. What is this? This, this looks weird. Ah, oh, we still don't have this one cleared out. That one's there, the three is cleared, okay. That could be any of them. Now we're just kind of going slowly through, whittling this away. Ah, oh, I still don't know. I have to go this way. That's not really changing anything. All right, so we're... Just the way this is designed, I'm going to say this is it. I'm just going to take a, a guess here and see how that affects things. Okay, there's that. Okay, that's the 3-2. There we go. A plane, okay. Plane makes sense. It's just a little weirdly shaped. Like, what is the the white bits? I suppose like them cutting through sky or something. No, because that doesn't even look right. This might be a weird design. Uh, but I think this is the last one. Doesn't tell me here. All right, we got some zeros to work through. Whittle away at this thing. All right. I just want to go through and get these zeros out of the way right now. Uh, but yeah, one piece I'm looking forward to next week. We got uh, the uh, uh, the Persona three and four releases on the consoles. Most most of them, or not all of them. Switch is getting them both. Uh, PS4 is getting them both. There's no PS5 versions for the weird conspiracy stuff that kind of creates. Uh, there's no... Uh, there's Windows version, or Steam versions of 3, but on Windows, PC, Game Pass, that'll be on both. I keep straight of where those have released is a little bit tough, but uh, Xbox is also getting both of those. All right, I think we're done here for now. For can't do anything here. All right, can't do anything there. Well, if we're starting to get into the tougher puzzles, then that is good for me. So they've been pretty easy, just mostly getting to situations like that. The last puzzle where it's a little tough, but it's also a lot of just whittling away back and forth. All right, this is the 2-1. Same here. Four, that one's the three. There we go, clearing this all out. All right, three one, so that's gonna be there. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, two one, so that one's not necessary. There we go. 
All right, so now these two are not necessary here. Yeah, apologies if it sounds just like I'm rambling because I'm thinking through this on my own, trying to make them audible as much as I can, but, you know, just kind of clearing stuff out here. Much like that. It's like we got kind of the, the same row of stuff here. Not sure what that's going to mean in the end here. Okay, there we go. Let's check that private previous one. I'm just gonna be moving back and forth. That's gonna lead to me making mistakes. This three one's done. I guess it on this one. Here we go. There's the two one, three one. Yeah, it's kind of mirrored a little bit. That might be what keeps me off balance a bit here, trying to go through these quickly. Is that... 3-1. Four, 4-1, one. that could be any of these, though. This is going to make that harder to do that. Okay, yeah. What? I thought I hit the right button on that one. All right. Looking at these, I think this is all I can do on this one. All right. Okay, we cleared these out. These ones, we already got one there. Did I miss a 2 1 here? And yeah, this is just like that other end piece. And yeah, these aren't enough to do anything, so we'll move to the side here. Alright. We got a 1 there. Yeah, we'll be going for about another hour or so. See how things go. Okay, this one's done. His three could go to either one of these. Not 100% sure on that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the bottom ones because it'll mirror this end, but don't know just yet. Okay, it's five, so I can take that off. And yeah, what have we been watching? I watched Willow for the first time, the movie. I'd never seen it. It was just never really all that accessible. I probably knew. At some points that it was around, but just never had the inkling to watch it. But after hearing good things about the show, I decided to watch it. And it was pretty good. It's a it's a Lucas film movie that came out uh, after Episode Six for Star Wars. Uh, they made a new thing that is oh, that could be this one, I guess. Uh is basically fantasy oriented uh, with Warwick Davis of uh, Ewok fame. Uh, he plays the, the lead character, Willow. Go up, save the kingdom? I don't know, the world? I don't know. Uh, the unlikely hero. Surprised to see Val Kilmer in that. Uh, though much like Cal, uh, Val Kilmer's work is that it never really turned into him getting to be a bigger star. He was pretty big as a star, but not like somebody to like, keep that fame for a long time. Okay, let's see, this three's done. Yeah, once I figured out that was him, I was like, where do I know this guy from? I figured it out, I was like, oh, that guy, okay. This is another slow whittle. We'll just work our way through it. You could almost use another thing, another like layer between the current slice you're working on and the one behind it. 
Because, like, here I was, like, struggling, like, okay, it's this and this. Is there something else that's sticking out? I'm going to kind of have to go this way. No, that kind of makes it a little harder, too. There may be options for that, but I don't, I don't think so. I guess this is a solo dev. Lucas Krasniewski. Yeah, they have options for some things here, but nothing too big. I don't know if this is to show the thing or not, because I'm not... I don't think I have any of these. I don't know what these are. Highlight errors. Highlight rows. I don't know, I can... I don't know. Oh, okay, so it's showing the row. Oh, okay. I don't need it, but... Okay. Hmm. So it's either going to be a 4 and a 1 or a 3 and a 2. I'm not sure just yet. That one's good. This actually might help me because I kept seeing more of these and being unsure which one was the one. Uh, yeah, this has to be here, then that one. Because, yeah, there was, there was five total here, so there's no way it was going to... Splitting it up would be five total, so it had to be one and a four. So that one's done, that one's done, that one's done. This actually makes it a lot easier for me to parse it. Where did it frames that as a hint thing? Uh, let's see. Because I know exactly what I'm highlighting. Might just be for people that have different spatial recognition stuff for this. Okay, these two. That's what I thought it would be. What? Sometimes it'll like re... Yeah, like that. I guess because I'm technically highlighting it here, but... I'm thinking there's nothing there so I can just highlight but it's not, not the way the game works. But I don't think there's anything else. Okay, we're good. There. Oh, six, yeah. Nope, it's, there, there we go. There we go. There. And just delete that. Yep, rocking horse. All right, that makes sense. Okay. I think once we finish this row of stuff, uh, this this section of stuff, I will move over to the Picross 3D puzzles because I want to see how those uh, hold up in this this game's engine. I like this as a, an engine of sorts. This music is starting to drive me nuts. I don't know. I even have my headphones turned down a good bit. You guys probably don't hear it much. Uh, let's see here. Five two. That's a little too much variance. Not much here that I can work off of. Just that. Sixes will get me the fours in the middle. All right, let's try working from the sides here. These are seven. Oh, right, no. There we go. Mess that up. I'm just gonna double check that I. Yeah. Let's 
six one makes sense here. I'm trying to see the six one we can complete now. It looks like these top ones are saying nine. I don't know why they didn't flip over. I go to the top. They still don't flip over. That's weird. Oh, is that the... Must be rotate hints. I'll do that because that just makes it easier for people to see. I could drive myself nuts with that, but... I won't make you do it. All right, six, six. That's not going to be a thing. So it's going to be one of these two. Since these are broken up, I can already figure out that that's that one. Okay. That's not going to be it. Three one's going to be there. And then that's the sixes. That's the five. All right. Finished off that one. That's all the threes. That's that one. So that's not going to be it. It's going to be one of these for these. Let's see. Yeah, not sure yet on that, so that's good. Six there. Seven, so yeah, these are mirrored. For the most part. There, so those two can go away. Those have to connect. That's one of these. Yeah, I don't think I can... I can do that. Okay, yeah. Those ones I can connect. Let's see here. Wait, no. These five ones have to connect. Those are good. Those are good. Those are good. Alright. Let's see if I can... Yeah, I don't think I can do that here. Because it's a 5-2 instead of a 5-1. Alright, let's just continue on here. Another 7. These are all 1s. Those are pretty easy to figure out. All right. It's the five two, so that means that one doesn't exist. There we go, dollhouse. Okay, yeah, look at that. That's a little dollhouse. So yeah, we're done with that one, so I got an achievement for finishing up Santa's workshop, so that's cool. I feel like they shouldn't tell you what the category is. So we'll play some of these Picross 3D stages because I want to see sort of what that is all about. Oh uh, yeah, this is going to be easy here because it's the start. Go over to the hard ones here in a bit. I'm going to guess it's going to be that. I guess these are all letters. Wait, what? Oh, because I'm still... Mm. That's what I'm telling you right there. Is it going to be that and this? So it's going to be that.
I'm missing what? Oh no, that's... okay. There we go. I was missing that that one wasn't where it looked to be. So, tell me I got 1100 of these to play. It's maybe not the greatest, but I can actually play through them. Let's see. Let's start with the normal ones for these. Okay. Jeez, that's a heck of a way to go. Okay. Are they just using the exact hints that they used in the original? It's alright if they are, but it's... You play this and that one a little differently. Three, two means it's one of these up here. The heck would they make a puzzle about on this? Let's see. Those are all clear. Those are clear. All right, now I can actually start working my way through the rest of this here. Okay, these are good. Those are good. Signal. Okay. I can see that. Not sure why one of them is looking bigger than or brighter than the others. Alright, this is a single thing. Okay. Whew, game, you are going hard on this. Now, what is this? Oh, I'm ignoring. Okay. Could technically fill this. Let's see. I'm just missing these numbers on here because it's a flat surface. It's tricking me a little bit. So that's that. All right, so that's that one. This, so these are not it. All right, so we're getting some good challenge out of this. Let's see, that one completes the 4-2. It's a matter of what, which one of these twos. Huh. Oh yeah, this. Duh. Alright. These are separate. There's that, that, that's clearing that all out. It's a grabber. Uh, just thing that Nintendo made, so... Okay, we did some of those normals where the hards... That'd be alphabetical, so the hard would come up here. Let's try this. See how devious these can get. Got that one done already. That one's done here. Okay. Kind of go around here in any way, so no, no choices on that yet. These twos are done, two ones. Again, same thing. These are mirrored here, so continue to do that. Let's see. There we go. Sounds good. Pretty sure these are this. All right.
Five there, three there. Okay, these fours are done, four ones. And that's done, there we go. Sushi, okay. I can see that. That wasn't too bad. Okay, let's get... Not much there to work with. Not much there to work with, okay. Get more done here on this side. Because these twos are sitting here. Go. Yeah, this you will not get on the Switch version, I believe. Could be wrong. I don't. I don't. I, I would assume they don't have a means for pulling these puzzles into it, but this is definitely a nice bonus for the Steam version. All right, where? I guess these threes here, twos here do not exist. Yeah, I've been looking at the the selection of Picross clones on the on Steam for the Steam Deck. There's not a ton. Jupiter obviously doesn't release any of theirs on the Steam Deck, though, which I'm guessing is probably a stipulation of their licensing agreement with Nintendo to use the IP. Because uh, they've been the ones making those games for ages since the, I think, Game Boy and Super Nintendo. There we go, we got that one completed. We can throw those out. Let's see, that one's done. That one's done. And we're done. Ah, it's a sword. Hero Sword. Dragon Quest, obviously. Not Link's. Link never has a sword with like a gem in the in the holder there. Alright. Let's work on this one here. We'll do some more puzzles here. Uh, finish out the hour, essentially. here I can start clearing some out this could still have other variations so nothing to clear out there these zeros here so that helps us solve our fives pretty easily Helps us solve this three here. We can get rid of those. What? Like, took me holding it here to meaning that. Oh, that could go a few different ways. Let's go back to the side view to here. So that gives it that. To here. So that, that, that's already done. Be 
these. There we go. It's gonna free up something, one of these. Uh, the, yeah, let's see. Okay, we're good enough here. So yeah, I've been thinking about like things I wanna do gaming wise. Uh, I think one of mine is to beat some more games uh, and mostly go through some backlog stuff that's been outstanding for longer than I'd like. And I'm thinking things like I want to go and finally beat uh, Mass Effect 3, finally. I've been watching Giant Bomb's playthrough of Mass Effect 1 and I was just started 2 and it's like I should beat that game. I started it ages ago and never got around to finishing it. I'm probably like an hour or two in. So I kind of want to go back and finish it up. Uh, just sort of how I did things back in the day with uh, Mass Effect 1 where I took like a three or four year break from it. Because uh, when I started playing it, I was just playing it in like six, seven hour chunks. Such a way as eating up a lot of my time that uh, caused me to not want to play it so much. There we go. Okay, wait a second. Where am I? Okay. These are definitely things. Okay. Stopwatch. Okay, I thought it was a bomb for a second. I was like, wait, no, there's the, the front part. Uh, so yeah, Mass Effect 3 is definitely one I want to beat. I do want to go back and try to beat, uh, what is it, Death Stranding is one more recently because 2 is supposed to be coming at some point, though I don't think it's coming out this year. So I'm not in that much of a rush on that one. But I would like to beat it. Uh, well, it's just, I'm not thinking of things like that came out last year that I still have time to go play. Uh, nothing there is that desperate on that front. Uh, but I do want to go meet some of the bigger games that I didn't and some of the smaller stuff that I started and kind of fell off on. That's been kind of a thing that's been at my... I've been thinking about lately. Then I got more of these puzzles to play uh, and beat, so... Definitely not going to do that, at least when I'm playing Steam Deck. Uh, though I did start up, what was it? Grow Home. Which is a game I played a lot on PS4, I think it was, when that came out. I uh, really liked that game. That was a very fun kind of physics-y uh, exploration platformer game. And I'm pretty sure I played it on PC before, but uh, Ubisoft, when they were making this, did not support the Steam cloud save stuff. What the heck? Oh. So I had to start over. Which wasn't a big deal. Especially because a lot of the achievements I still have left to do are things I can do without having to beat it. That makes any sense. Like, I don't have to... Well, there are a couple that would be. There's, like, collectible stuff. I think it's the last of this. So these hard ones aren't too hard. And it, they never were that hard. A lot of the challenge in Picross 3D, I'm surprised there's no puzzles for uh, the second one. I forget that one's called. Uh, a lot of the challenge is you just having real impatience. And so you try to hold down the, the stylus to break a bunch of the, the, circ the, the zeros. 
end up hitting uh, the wrong ones. That was like your punishment there is, uh, you just were rushing too much and now you screwed yourself. Kind of thing, which is never a great design. There was something I really enjoyed about that part of the Picross legacy. I'm glad they've gotten away from trying to be hard asses on that stuff. Let's see, six and two. Not much here that I can whittle away just yet. Because uh, yeah, if you go play Picross DS, it gets very annoying whenever you make accidental mistakes and it adds time to your your counter and if you go over it makes you redo the whole thing that stuff was just stupid built in a way of just like being super super annoying f just because they could like you can go see that when you go play the Mario's Picross on the uh, Nintendo Switch Online for the Super Nintendo versions you can see that all in there, and it's yeah, it's annoying because the those ones don't even have the quality of life stuff. That's like, you know, I can go and do this, and it won't delete these ones, kind of thing. Uh, you X out a bunch of stuff, and you go to sweep across to get the the remaining as marking it. It'll just override everything, and then it'll penal penalize you for doing that. So I use the rewind a lot in those in that version I could definitely beat it if I took my time and just refused to ever make any mistakes and refused to rush through it but I just want to beat the game they're not that much of a challenge there we go I got all these. Okay. That's not it. Let's see here. There's still just enough variability in some of these. These are the threes, so I can clear those out. That's not going to be it. Okay, that's cleared out. That's done. Uh, that's not going to be it. That's 4-1. There's the 3 there. There we go. We got that one done. I don't know if there's anything sideways I can do. It's a matter of just checking these. What could this be? There's only one more in this, so I could do these two. Just come up to these two, take that one, whatever. There's still more variability in this, I don't know. This is gonna be it? Yeah, because this is in the middle, so none of these are gonna break up. And there's just three more over here, so I had to break up. Okay, that one's definitely not going to be it. There'll be two and four, so those three at least. There's that. Okay, this three is here, so these are done.
We're still going with that music. This is done. Okay, this one's either one of these. Bad one could take either of these. Two could be any of these. Five could be in any of these. Six could be any of these. Now it's like, what? Are we matching up alongside this? So then that would be that, and that would take that. That's done. Okay, that wasn't it, because look at this. Or no. Maybe that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. There we go. A key. Oh, it's a lock, okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, these. All right, we got that, so let's see. Six here. That's five right there, so. I do kind of wish you could go like I like these to delete and then move up rows to kind of sweep across if you get what I'm saying. Okay, like the number dims a little bit. I wonder if that's another... No, not really. Okay, that's fine. It's weird that it dims at all. Watch the two there, kind of dims just a little bit, just the littlest bit. Like, there's five ones here. Get that, get that. Oop. It's like a question mark thing. So this is a Riddler, Riddler puzzle. Okay, that two's done. So that has to be up here. I was like, did I miss something here that could have gotten me a little further? Like, yeah, a little bit. Not much, though. Uh, but yeah, we'll be streaming One Piece Odyssey tomorrow. That'll be fun. I'm still trying to figure out if I should continue where the demo cuts off. Uh, or if I should just have that be my main save that I'm playing my own time and the one I do for the stream is a fresh one I think that early part it'll be pretty good for showing off the actual mechanics as they throw them out but also I don't all that early part is showing that they're stranded on this island and that uh, how they take away their powers to make it uh, an interesting power level thing. Because the main problem you have when you're trying to do that kind of game is that the point that they're at that they do this story, this game, uh, they've been through so much and they've done so much that they're super powered up. And how are these animals on this island in any way a threat to them. And then they pull the video game thing where they're like, ah, take your powers away. Cause screw all you. And how you get them back is sort of the, the interesting thing. It's all shown in the demo, so it's not really spoiling anything. Uh, they just have a character that's like, I, I can take people's powers away and it's not a devil fruit thing. And it's like, Okay, I guess... I guess so. That's weird. And they don't even get that angry about it. It's weird. Yeah, that's the... 
That's the, the lowdown on that, is that they lose their powers, and like, okay, well, sure, we can do that. I don't know if it's going to deal with too much in the way of spoilery stuff. It seems like a big part of the game is going through their memories, and so, like, reliving some of the, the bigger arcs, which I think are all arcs that I have seen that are on Netflix. So that's neat neat specifically for me for people that have seen all thousand plus episodes it may be a little bit not great for them I'm not one of them so it's not really my issue let's see there's like two people oh it's like the Yeah, three-legged race. I was trying to think what that what that's called. That's a good design. Hey, ten, pub ten puzzles in the workshop. Do they have... I know they have achievements for the workshop stuff. I wonder how much they have for that. Okay, there's 25 more achievements I have for that. Okay, they do show progress on that 25 for the workshop 50 100 seems like 100 oh they also have random puzzles we should probably check those out i've already started one that's fine exit out of that so there i can work my way through those that's the thing i'll do in my spare time they also have this that randomly generates stuff I'm not sure what a maze is. Don't randomly generate a Nazi uh, swastika. Right, let's try this out. I don't know what a maze is. Let's see, there's that. There's no zeros here either. Hmm, interesting. Okay, there's these end pieces. These are all right. Yeah, I'll play for about another 10 more minutes. This, 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 this. The net, net. Net, net. Okay. Seven's here. There's five twos. That'll be. I uh, will solve it through this. So yeah, these are just puzzles that are randomly generated. It's gonna create a solution, uh, an an end product that's not gonna be a real thing. Or probably not. I don't know how far that could go, but. Let's see, there we go. Oh, I was off to the side, there we go. Six one, so that'll be these end pieces. Uh, this probably won't be a piece. Twos and two ones, so I can get rid of those. Get rid of that. Okay. So yeah, we get this gets around the problem of puzzles being mirrored in a way that makes it easy to be like, okay, this is just like this other one, so I can go do this, this, and this. There we go there. Yeah, not sure where this is going to finish up. Okay, these are the two ends. Yeah, not sure where that can go. Okay. 
Okay, seven sevens. Not sure there. The that tend to work off there. That's not going to happen. This is done. That's not going to happen. That's done. Okay, making some progress here. Making some good progress. These two are definite. That's definite. Okay, this is definite here. It's one of those two, but move back in. Okay, there we go. That's great. It's either this or this. It's either four one or a two three. That's probably, I'm guessing this is what this is going to be. I'm not really guessing I'm making a, an educated guess there. This could be a four and a one or a three and a two. I'll let that one go for a bit. Okay, that's not going to happen. Those aren't going to happen. There we go. On that. Okay, making some good progress here. Okay, let's see here. Not sure what I would do here just yet. That has to be the one that goes away. Oop. Sideway ones. Okay, these go here. There's no side ones, so that's making this one tougher to go through. Okay, there's that. Okay, this 5-2 is done. Okay, that 5-1 is about ready. This 5-1's done. So that one's done. That one's done. It's done. Oh, there's that lady again. Singing. As we go into the hay, uh, conspicuous hay pile that always exists at the top of big jumps, or the bottom of big jumps. Jeez. Okay, this two one's done. This six one's done. Those are done, those are done. Okay, no. Go this way. Start working our way through. Okay, that has to be that one. That two one's done. This two one's done. That one's done. So either one of these that determines what these two ones are going to be, so nothing there these five ones are done okay that six one's done and how much on the sides here wait for one of these to show up at some point but nothing there Yeah, 
Ain't nothing there. This five one's done. Uh, there we go. That's me holding it to go highlights when I'm here instead of here. That's done. That's done. That's done. Uh, okay, this is still open. And we're coming down to the wire, but I think we'll be okay here. This one's done. Boom, five one's done. Two one's done. So I can solve right there. All right. This three two is done. Those are done. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I think the I think that One Piece game is only on uh, the PlayStation and Xbox. Kind of weirdly not on a Switch. Probably will at some point. I guess that has to be the solution there. And that's there. And that's all. All there, nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, this bottom one. But nothing I can work off of. This six one's done, this four one's done. Oop. This four one is done. Okay. Okay, this is done. That's done. This has nothing. I, uh, the maze thing must just mean that it kind of layers it out almost like a... It's like a maze design, I guess. That's interesting. I never, I never thought of what different puzzle designs might be called by the sort of people that think about it way too much, or more than I do. I just solve the puzzles. That's all I'm there for. Okay, we're almost done. It'll be about a perfect time. It's done. And these are done. Boom. Whew, that took a little while. All right. Yeah, it kind of looks like, looks like an MC Escher puzzle, so... Yeah, all right. Strings. The thing is, I want to use the right stick to look around here, but it's using it like a thing here, because it's, it's showing me like different ideas for what a string could look like. Yeah. I think noise is it's just like ah it's it's random, it doesn't connect at all. Whereas I guess strings all connect. Maze is like it connects kind of. Kind of prioritizes strings together. That also looks like that's pretty easy for the mazes. String looks like it's a little tougher, and noise is very random, so... Okay, so that's Voxelgram. Uh, that is out now, Switch and PC and mobile. Uh, you can check that out, if you like what you see. Uh, but yeah, it, this is enough for me. For a second I thought I said it was running at 25 frames per second, I was like, that doesn't... So a game that should be running that poorly, but yeah, there's there's a lot in the Steam version. If you have Steam or a Steam Deck, uh, this seems like a good way to play it. Switch also probably seems like a good way to play it. Uh, check out the reviews just in case there might be performance issues. I don't know why there would be, but yeah, there you go. That is uh, uh, very much a pretty good puzzle or Picross 3D clone there, just without the 
like fancy um, presentation and all that. So, yeah, there you go. Thank you all. Hope you have a good one. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow to stream some One Piece Odyssey. Uh, so, yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Have a good one. See you next time.